This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 152. Too lazy to work out? Try Temptation Bundling by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. Get ready to maximize your potential with Optimal Living Daily, the podcast that brings you the best in personal development and productivity every day of the week. Your optimal life awaits. Now here's your host, Justin Mollick. Hello, Life Optimizers. You are listening to Optimal Living Daily, the podcast where I read to you from amazing authors like MarketAngel.com, Derek Sivers, The Minimalists, and more. And I'm Justin Mollick, the guy who ran seven and a half miles in a jogathon in fourth grade and couldn't move the next day. It was terrible. And speaking of exercise, I have a great post from Steve Cam of Nerd Fitness today on motivation. But before we get into it, did you know that I have a spinoff podcast of the show called Optimal Finance Daily? Now, it's not me reading to you. It's a really nice guy named Dan who has a much more radio-friendly voice, and he reads posts on personal finance five days a week instead of seven like me. And I've heard from many listeners of this show who said it's a great way to dive into some money posts from many of the same authors. So please help support this show by subscribing to that one too. You can search for Optimal Finance Daily in the podcast app of your choice, and please subscribe to it. It'd be a huge help. And that's that. Let's jump right into this post and start optimizing your life. Too lazy to work out? Try Temptation Bundling by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. Quote, You Netflix, how did I just watch 12 episodes of House of Cards? I have stuff to do. Unquote. We've all been there. There are the things we know we should do, the things we need to do, and the things that we want to do. More often than not, the want wins out over the need and should. It's like trying to win a tug of war against a tractor pulling in the opposite direction. It's why you struggle to get to the gym after a long day of work. It's why you opt for Taco Bell instead of taking the time to cook a healthy meal. Today we're going to give you a quick life hack that can help you start leveling up your life and actually get things done that need to get done. What is temptation bundling? I bet you've said the following, quote, before I can watch TV, I need to exercise, unquote. And yet TV ends up winning over exercise almost all the time, especially if it's after a long, miserable day at work. So instead of, if I do this, then I get this, what if we combine the two into one epic activity? The idea is called temptation bundling, a term coined by Wharton professor Katie Milkman. Ultimately, you combine something that needs to be done with something you want to do. She describes the idea in a paper entitled, holding the Hunger Games hostage at the gym, an evaluation of temptation bundling. The goal is to get us to do things we need to do by combining them with things we want to do, removing the either-or temptation, and getting us to actually do stuff. Participants were randomly assigned to a full treatment condition with gym-only access to tempting audio novels, an intermediate treatment involving encouragement to restrict audiobook enjoyment to the gym, or a control condition. Initially, full and intermediate treatment participants visited the gym 51% and 29% more frequently. Long story short, the people in the study who were told they could listen to addictive audiobooks only while working out visited the gym 51% more frequently than those who were just told they should exercise more. Here's some nerd fitness examples. In love with the show Arrow? I am, and I want Steve and Amel to be my best friend. Don't say, I can only watch Arrow after exercising. Change your phrasing and try this instead. I can only watch Arrow while exercising. Bring your iPad or laptop to the gym and only watch particular shows while you're on a treadmill, walking, or using the elliptical. Addicted to Clash of Clans on your phone? Only allow yourself to work on your clan while at the gym in between sets of deadlifts. Same goes for looking at stupid BuzzFeed links on Facebook, only while resting in between squats. Maybe you can only listen to Serial or Tim Ferriss's podcast while walking, doing a particular work task, or even completing a chore at home like cleaning your laundry. An hour episode while walking could result in you racking up three plus miles on your walk to Mordor. Afraid to try cooking a new healthy meal? You can only listen to a podcast or music in your house while you are cooking. Blast it at top volume while having fun making a mess trying to cook. Now, what's interesting is that although this study teaches us that bundling a healthy life improvement activity with one you enjoy can help you make a change, the boost can oftentimes be temporary. The study went on to say that the quote-unquote allure of the audiobook plus gym combo wore off after a few months, thus furthering the suggestion that you have to flip a switch after you get started to enjoying the journey. So, although this is a great strategy to get started, it's not a permanent solution. 
but that's fine. We're going to be using it to build long-term habits. Try the temptation bundle challenge. If you can implement it properly, temptation bundling can both increase your time spent doing a healthy activity while also helping you limit the unhealthy one. Want to watch 10 hours of a TV show? I hope you're ready to walk on a treadmill for 10 hours. Now you might be saying, quote, Steve, doesn't this make the fun activity less enjoyable and the exercise slash health portion less efficient? Unquote. Kind of. Sure, I'd love it if you went to the gym, completed a kick workout, ate a healthy meal, and then got eight hours of sleep. However, this isn't imagination land, and I know the best workout plan is the one you actually complete. This is infinitely better than the perfect workout plan that makes you say, meh, I'll start tomorrow. So what do we do? We use temptation bundling to get us started and then use drive to keep us going. When we build interest in the activity itself, we shift our focus from, I'm enduring this workout, to, I can't wait to see how much better I am this week. The change can become permanent. Here's a temptation bundle that I've implemented recently. I love to play video games and oftentimes get lost in them for hours. Because gaming is generally a passive activity, spending 12 straight hours slouched on a couch is not good for my back. So I've created a temptation bundle when it comes to gaming. I can only play video games when I'm standing or doing the grok squat. Standing for 12 hours or squatting for 12 hours will certainly pose a challenge, so I'll certainly do less marathon gaming sessions and I'll spend much less time slouched on a couch as well. I figure if I'm going to game, I should at least work on mobility and movement simultaneously. Your turn. What's one activity that you love to do and one that you know you should do more of? And how are you going to implement this strategy today to your daily routine? Here are some other rapid fire examples. Number one, are you studying or getting some work done? Get your favorite sugar-free coffee drink or food item or snack only when you're doing it. Number two, try walking outside or a cardio machine. That's now the only time you're allowed to browse your favorite website, subreddit, or social media. Number three, Try pairing chores like ironing, doing laundry, or cleaning dishes while watching your favorite TV shows or a new movie you've been waiting for. What's one temptation bundle you are going to combine and start today? You just listened to the post titled, Too Lazy to Work Out? Try Temptation Bundling by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. And having a lack of motivation is a common struggle that I hear from you, so I really hope that was a helpful post for you. And if you find this podcast helpful overall, please also check out Optimal Finance Daily and give that show some love too by subscribing to that as well. It's the same format. You'll have posts read to you, but more on personal finance, although mostly from the same authors. So please check out Optimal Finance Daily, subscribe, and even better if you can tell someone else about these podcasts since they're still very new. And that's it for today. We're just about halfway through the week, so hang in there. And I'll catch you tomorrow where your optimal life awaits. Hey, this is Dan from the Optimal Finance Daily Podcast, which is a lot like this show, except more focused on personal finance. Justin handpicks the best posts he can find from blogs and authors like Ramit Sethi, Mr. Money Mustache, and more, and I read them to you five days a week. So if you enjoy this podcast, come on over and subscribe to Optimal Finance Daily too. And together will optimize your financial life. You've been listening to Optimal Living Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.